Could the home of the Nashville Symphony soon become the home of Nashville's newest mosque? It's a question people have been debating all weekend because a website claims it will open an Islamic center inside the Symphony Center in November. And this got a lot of people talking over the weekend. But as News 2's Joseph Pleasant found out, the supposed future mosque may be more about revenge than religion. Mutual Smith has lived in Nashville for 25 years and has visited the Skirmelhorn Symphony Center many times. It's beautiful. It's a, a, a great place to come to, to have uh, the concerts, and we just enjoy coming. It's a good uh, place to visit. But when it comes to making the Symphony Center a mosque... I'm not sure. <laughs> So I do, I'm not uh, sure about that. Friday, this website popped up that sparked controversy. It says that in November 2013, the Skirmerhorn will become home to the Al Hussein Music City Islamic Center, offering five daily prayers and weekend youth school. I think it's ridiculous. I think it needs to remain the Shimmerhorn. Others weren't happy either. This Facebook page titled 100,000 Strong to Stop the Skimmerhorn Mosque appeared on Facebook. And according to the page, a protest march is in the works for August. But all the opposition isn't needed because it's all a hoax. According to the Skimmerhorn, there's no Islamic Center planned for the Symphony Center and never was. The rumor didn't seem too far-fetched. After all, the Skimmerhorn was in foreclosure and was supposed to be auctioned off just last week. Our attempts to reach the creator of the website were unsuccessful. Nashvillians were relieved when we told them the Symphony Center would not become a worship center. It brings a lot of people into Nashville, you know, because of the arts and the culture. Meanwhile, the Skimmerhorn continues to investigate who is behind the website. Others theorize it could be an angry employee who was laid off during the recent financial crisis. At the Skimmerhorn Symphony Center, Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2. Skirmerhorn officials say they are also having trouble tracking down who put up the website claiming that the Symphony Center would become a mosque. Whoever bought the domain concealed their identity.